In many parts of Ghana, especially in rural areas, having access to electricity is a big challenge. Some rural communities still live in the dark today, making it difficult for students to study at night, among others. However, it gets exciting to know there are people who are working hard behind scenes to help bridge this gap. Meet Mustafa, a young Ghanaian who is making electrical street lights with renewable energy and recycled materials. Hi, my name is Mustafa and I build street lights using renewable energy. Let me show you how it works. So, for this build, we have some solar panels, we have some PVC pipes, we have some LED lights, and then of course some few electronics and then lithium ion batteries you also need some tools as well some of the tools that might come in handy are a glue gun you will need this flyer and then you also need a blade for cutting and finally you will need a pcb board to assemble all your electronics components on. So let's get started. You first of all have to fix all your LED lights on the PCB board this way. Now, this particular one is a 24 volt LED, which is more brighter, but you can make a much lower one which can run on very small power, like 12 volt or 6 volt. For instance, I have a 12 volt LED. lithium-ion battery and we have this circuit which automatically switches the LEDs on and off during the daytime and nighttime respectively. These lithium-ion batteries are actually recovered these old laptop batteries which are referred to as condemned batteries in the market. A lot of people don't really know that they are still usable even if even after not being able to power the laptop. So I'm going to break this off and then remove them and test their voltages. One of these voltage uh, newly manufactured is around 3.7 volts. But after using it in the laptop for a while, there will be a voltage drop. But, uh, usually, these voltage drops are not too high that they cannot power it. So, let's go. So now, we have finally removed the lithium ion cells. So we'll go, about, we'll go on to test the voltages to see whether they are still working. With our voltmeter or the multimeter, we set it up to the DC voltage over here. Now we expect to get around 3.5 to below somewhere 2.8, 2.5. This is around 3.6 volts. And earlier on, I said a new lithium ion battery is 3.75. So, this one has very small voltage drop. So, we can use it. Let's start by assembling the stand or the unit. And now that's it. You're almost done with your speed lights. Now, with the help of the glue gun, you heat it up to the required temperature to melt it. You apply some heat. Now after application, you stick it up here, this one, to hold it in position. Secondly, you pick your plastic bottle and you fix it in this room. After you connect it up, you cut out these pieces of wire, you join from these two wires over here and then connect it to the LED bulbs 
I'm holding right now. So at the end, you connect the solar panel to another model for charging. I first of all designed this model on the breadboard first to test how efficiently it will charge my lithium ion batteries for me. I've already developed the circuit and very soon I'll bring the PCB out. Now when you are done, you remove it and also solder them on top of a PCB board this way. Now the final part, you now connect the solar panel to the charging unit. So the solar panel provides power through the charging unit. The charging unit will charge the lithium ion batteries. Now the lithium ion battery also discharges power through the switch. Then the switch also controls the switching on and off of the light. And you are done with the street light. Mustafa has deployed some of his works in communities in the northern part of Ghana. Reach out to him in case you want to support his work.